Today, we're going to be diving into undrafted rookie wide receiver Xavier Weaver out of Colorado. And what's the real reason he ended up going undrafted? Did the Arizona Cardinals get one of the sneakiest gems in the 2024 NFL draft? Let's dive into it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. On this channel, we cover everything Cardinals, news, breaking news, conversational pieces, everything surrounding your favorite team. So subscribe it up. It's absolutely for free. Just had surgery on my shoulder. Beginning of January, I tore my label. Um, I had it the whole season. And I played the whole season with a torn label. All right, everybody, let's go and dive right into it. Let's talk about undrafted wide receiver Xavier Weaver out of Colorado. Now, he stands 6'1", 176 pounds, had a total of 68 receptions, 908 receiving yards, four touchdowns, and two rushing touchdowns. Now, I feel like there's not a lot of hype around this uh, rookie prospect coming into the Arizona Cardinals, and I feel like one of the biggest reasons why is because he was one of the very few undrafted rookies to come to the Arizona Cardinals, but in Colorado, if you're looking at the stats, he was the number one productive wide receiver for Shadur Sanders and played under Deion Sanders, and of course, with Colorado, came with a lot of hype, but definitely looking at an Xavier Weaver a little deeper, I'm very, very intrigued to find out, hey, maybe the Arizona Cardinals ended up getting a gem here. And now let's dive into why I feel like Xavier Weaver went undrafted. Now, he didn't participate in the NFL Combine, which most likely hurt his draft stock. But one of the biggest reasons as to why is that in January 2nd of 2024, he ended up going through surgery to fix his torn labrum. Now, he ended up coming out in a YouTube video saying that he was actually dealing with this injury throughout the entirety of the 2023 season, being the fact that he wasn't healthy at all, but he was still getting the productive numbers that he was is absolutely pretty amazing on its own to figure out probably one of the biggest reasons as to why he wasn't participating in the 2024 NFL Combine, which he actually wanted to. But unfortunately, due to the injury the day after on January the 3rd, he automatically had to start the rehab process for his torn labrum. And I feel like that's one of the biggest reasons as to why I feel like he went undrafted. The fact that he had a torn labrum. Now, it very well might have been possible that there were some teams out there that were privy to this knowledge that didn't want to use a draft pick on an Xavier Weaver. Best part of this whole situation is that the Arizona Cardinals didn't have to use a draft pick on Xavier Weaver. We ended up bringing him in as a undrafted rookie and looking at his highlights slash film, Xavier Weaver seems to be a really good wide receiver that's got some really good qualities and a very, very high upside. And now let's go and dive right into what type of player Xavier Weaver actually is. What's his intangibles? What's his strengths? What's his weaknesses? Now looking at the film slash highlight reel, I really do like Xavier Weaver. I feel like if he makes a 53-man roster, this guy is going to bring a level of just a different type of play for our wide receiving course. So I really do hope that he can make the 53-man roster, but let's dive right into his pros. Now, looking at how Colorado ended up using Xavier Weaver is that they really wanted to kind of get the ball in his hands because he's an overall playmaker. We've seen him used as a punt returner, We've seen him used as a guy doing jet sweeps. Overall, a well-rounded wide receiver in Colorado. Now, per the stats, he was the number one target for Shadur Sanders over there, and overall, this guy is a really good playmaking type of wide receiver. Xavier Weaver's got the ability to get open. He's got a really good connection with Shador Sanders. So it definitely seemed like they were always on the same page. And he's got this really good burst to his game where he doesn't run the, the most elite speed out there. I believe in the pro day of Colorado, he ran a 4-4, which is definitely very respectable speed. But when he's got the ball in his hand, he can just kind of go on a completely different level. And it's absolutely really amazing to watch just the amount of burst he has to his speed speed and to his game. And being the fact that he's got some good speed to his game, you can definitely very well tell that cornerbacks respect what he can do. We're talking about a guy that can go ahead and catch really quick slants, really quick drag routes, do a stutter step and burn you from the top. So an overall, just very well-rounded wide receiver. He's got some really, really good vision to his game as well. She's seen him becoming a punt returner as well. And just the vision that he has to kind of break free and find those holes. And when he finds that hole, he's got that burst to his game. Just an overall, 
role. Great player, and I'm really, really excited to see what he can do in an Arizona Cardinal uniform. Now, let's go and dive right into the weaknesses of his game. Looking at the film of Xavier Weaver, there's only really one big glowing weakness from his game, and the fact that he does have a balancing issue. And what I mean by that is that when he's going on his super turbo speed a simple arm tackle can very well derail him and if he doesn't recover he can definitely very well be down by contact at that very moment now that's probably attributed to the fact that he's 6'1 176 pounds he does have a slender frame not one of those wide receivers that have a big body frame that can go ahead and shed tackles that's not really who he is so that's really kind of one of the biggest weaknesses I've seen from him and that's not really his fault it's just kind of the way that he's built and I guess if you want to add another thing is that he did miss some games since he's been a wide receiver in 2019 when he has played in South Florida he's missed some games with some injuries now I don't want to go ahead and knock him for injuries that's not the player's fault but you also got to give kudos to his mental toughness as well because him coming out here and saying that he actually had a torn labrium in the entirety of the 2023 season and the fact that he he fought through that and still had close to 1,000 yards that's absolutely super amazing and that's a player I would love to bring in an Arizona Cardinal uniform. Just an overall very good intriguing wide receiver. Now one of the biggest questions out there is is he going to make the 53 man roster? Now recently the Arizona Cardinals did bring in a Zay Jones veteran wide receiver from the Jacksonville Jaguars so it definitely leaves room for maybe a crowded wide receiving core heading into the 2024 season but if he definitely can bring a a, a level of versatility right punt returner jet sweep type of guy could definitely very well make this 53 man roster if the Arizona Cardinals can use his services so as long as he can stay healthy and can be able to be versatile like we've seen him in college I can definitely very well see him make the 53 man roster for the Arizona Cardinals but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Xavier Weaver undrafted rookie from Colorado let me know here in the comments below appreciate y'all for tuning in as always have a great rest of your day and go cards